Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about racially charged incidents at U.S. universities, call your county awards 11 deputies for saving lives, and more. Today is Monday, November 14th, and this is the lunch break. A student at the University of Oklahoma was temporarily suspended, and police are investigating a threat against a Muslim student near the University of Michigan amid racially charged outbursts at schools and universities across the country following Donald Trump's presidential election. The Associated Press and other local media outlets identified several reports of racist incidents at schools since Tuesday, including a group chat that the Oklahoma student got involved with aimed at black freshmen at the University of Pennsylvania, Trump's alma mater. The chat contained violent, racist, and thoroughly disgusting images and messages, and Penn is appalled that students were added to the GroupMe account, UPenn President Amy Gutman said. Gutman said UPenn police have been working with the FBI. She earlier said officials had increased campus safety and were reaching out to support the affected students. For 30 years, Phoenix Awards have been used by the Bureau of Emergency Services to honor local life-saving emergency responders. The award recipients are first responders who were nominated by paramedics who were also on the call. Last week's ceremony included friends, family, and co-workers of the recipients and took place at the Emergency Service Center on Lely Cultural Parkway. You can read the full list of individuals recognized at NaplesHerald.com. At first glance, it's probably not realtors who are thought of as potential targets for violent crime. But after a few moments, the risk factors start to add up. Public-facing professionals with publicly available phone numbers, email addresses, and social media presences meeting with strangers on a near-daily basis alone in areas that are may or may not have anyone around to see signs of trouble. It's what that in mind that the Naples Area Board of Realtors held a safety expo this month with the goal of reminding realtors to be careful. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.